Hello everyone, this is Tyler from Capsum, and today we will be discussing forecasting. Within the marketing department, you will need to forecast for all of your products in the upcoming year. Forecasting is very important because it drives your pro forma data. In other words, your projections for the upcoming year. If your forecast is inaccurate, then your projections will be inaccurate as well. So the first thing that we need to do is determine how big the market is going to be in the upcoming year. With that being said, we need to refer to the statistics section for each segment within the Capstone Courier, which will highlight the demand from last year, as well as the growth rate for the upcoming year. To calculate next year's demand, we'll take last year's total market size times one plus this year's demand growth rate. An example of this would be looking at the traditional segment here, taking this 9,850,000 total market size from last year, and multiplying it by one plus 9.2%. That would give us a customer demand for the traditional segment at 10,756,000. Once we understand what the next year's demand is going to be, we can then start forecasting. The first forecasting method that you can use is called the potential market share forecast. With the potential market share forecast, you'll wanna take new years or the next year's customer demand which we just calculated in the previous slide, and multiply it by last year's potential market share. If you refer to page 10 within the Capstone Courier, this is where we provide all the market share information from the previous year. On the left-hand side, you have the actual market share, what actually happened in the market, and in the right-hand side is the potential market share, what should have happened if all things were equal if nobody stocked out. So potential market share is typically going to be a little bit more accurate compared to the actual market share. But what we'll do is we would take the new year's customer demand times last year's potential market share, which I just shown on that page. An example of this would be taking that 10,756,000 number we just calculated in the previous slide times my potential market share, which is 9.8% which means my forecast for the upcoming year in the traditional segment would be 1,054,000 units. Another method that you can use for forecasting is called the customer satisfaction score forecast. You can find the customer satisfaction score on the bottom of each segment page in the bottom table all the way to the right. The customer satisfaction score are the customers telling us how well did they like our product at the end of the year? The more our product meets the customer expectations and the higher the accessibility and awareness is for our product, the better the customer satisfaction score is going to be at the end of the day. So if we are going to use the forecasting method using the satisfaction scores, we first need to determine our market share with the customer survey scores or with those satisfaction scores. You'll need to take your customer satisfaction score divided by the sum of the customer satisfaction scores in that specific segment. An example of this would be, let's say my customer satisfaction score is 26. Including my satisfaction score and the others, there's 33, 29, 26, and 18. So if I take my satisfaction score divided by 106, the sum of the other scores, including mine, I get a market share of 24.5%. Just like the previous example with potential market share, it's very similar here. We need to take the new year's customer demand times our product market share that we just calculated using the satisfaction scores. An example would be taking the 10,756,000 and multiplying that by 24.5%. In that case, my forecast would be 2,635,000 units in the upcoming year. Once you've forecasted for your products, and you've made the rest of your marketing decisions, you'll then need to go into the production department and produce the number of units needed to meet your forecast. We typically recommend that you produce about 10 to 15% more than your forecast to be prepared for the unexpected events that may occur in the upcoming year, things like stockouts. So in this case, my sales forecast is 1,200 or 1 1.2 million. So I'll be producing 1.3 million for the upcoming year just so I'm prepared. It is okay to have some inventory because we could take advantage of opportunities like competitors stocking out, but we do wanna be safe 
and not produce too much and end up with too much inventory at the end of the day. Forecasting will be the most difficult decision that you'll make on a yearly basis for your company. You may struggle the first few practice rounds with forecasting, but I recommend sticking to these methods. The more accurate your forecast is, the more likely your projections will be accurate for the upcoming year. I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you do have more questions about forecasting or your simulation in general, feel free to reach out to our support team. You can email us at support at capsum.com or you can also call us at 877-477-8787. Good luck with your simulation and I hope you have a great time.